So we're inside the Pella factory here at the Pella Corporation talking with Jen Veenstra. And Jen, we can see the latest technology behind us. Tell us what's new. So Pella actually has released a line of sensing products and shading products called Instinctive. Um, it's really just a way to enhance our windows and doors. Okay, tell us how it works. Yeah, our sensing products actually work. They can detect unlocked or open and closed. Um, we have a couple of different solutions. We actually have one that's an external retrofittable, so it can fit on any existing window or door. Um, or later this summer, we'll actually have an in integrated solution. So as I open up the lock, it's actually going to detect that my window is now in the open I state. heard it. <laughs> yeah. And then as I open this up, that's when my second sensor would let me know that my window is in an open state. So very good for energy efficiency. Oh, that's great. Now, this type of window, I remember researching Pella in the past, and this, is, this technology has been around for a little while, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Pella was one of the first people to actually have between the glass blinds and shades, and what Instinctive does is just take that manual shade and makes it motorized now. So I can actually, with a push of a button, I can control, control the lighting in my home. Wow, this is great technology. And one of the great things about our um, in-between glass blinds and shades is that we actually have um, a solar panel in the back of our battery pack, so it's going to help trickle charge that battery and give that battery ex extended battery life. And it does actually qualify for the 2000, up to 2019 for the solar tax credit. This is really cool technology, but how is this going to help us or change us in our day-to-day -day lives. Yeah, so really it's all about that efficiency. So you could um, you can control your shades using maybe a home automation system and set up schedules. So if you wanted your shades to go up at seven in the morning um, and in the winter and get that warm sun in um, during the day, or maybe you want them to go down in the summertime and keep that sun, those sun rays out, that'd be a great way to help control your energy efficiency. Let's say that there are viewers out there who are interested in the technology, but they may not be able to finance the entire entire package and all of its capabilities. So where would you recommend that they start? Um, I would probably recommend starting with our sensing solutions. So they would start with an instinctive bridge. It's going to do the communication for the system. It's going to talk to the sensor and then to your status indicator or your home automation system letting you know if your windows and doors are open or closed or are locked or unlocked. And if they have specific needs, like say they have children in the house, would there be certain things that they might want to focus yes, on? Yes, I always recommend if you have a door that your children are going in and out of and it gets left open um, quite frequently, um, even one sensor, um, the bridge and a status indicator will, will start you out with a basic system. Okay, so the bridge is really the component that you need to get started and then you can add from there. Exactly, so the sensing solutions be great for someone that's maybe an apartment dweller um, and then later down the road as they're purchasing their first home and grow or starting to grow their um, product line, um, it can grow with them as well. Thanks, Jen. This is great information. If you'd like more details about new trends in window technology, go to our website at powerhousetv.com.